Good morning, all of my fabulous friends. Today is Sunday. No, it is Saturday. See, I'm gonna need to look at my phone. Saturday, August the 10th. And um, I'm back in DC from a lovely vacation in Cancun, Mexico. And today I figured I would pick up the camera because um, that video, the vlog from me in Cancun, which was a fabulous time and week away from reality, um, will be coming soon. This vlog is going to be just a day in the life of me and my weekend. So today I'm actually going to be working with my friend Erin today. The both of us are going to be going to a local apartment complex here in the DC area to collaborate them on like a media um, media collaboration where we're able to get content at their apartment and then in exchange we are just going to promote their apartment complex. So it's a pretty sweet deal um, and it's a lot of fun. And then afterwards we're going to brunch at this uh, restaurant in the U Street neighborhood. So let's go and see Erin. Hey, it's the queen. Hello. Hey, queen. <laughs> okay, so update. We are now done with our shoot. Hi, uh, you're in the dark. <laughs> and we are now at Dacha Beer Garden by U Street. How many of you by U Street? We're, we're not far from it. We're not far from U Street. <laughs> There's Tim. Hi. He's the fabulous guy who has us here for this brunch. So we're going to get some tasty food. We're going to share what the food looks like. What would you say is the best dish that Dacha has? For brunch, it's definitely our chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles? And our waffles have a homemade liege batter that is so good. Oh my god, can we get that? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for everything. Go away on your scooter. Yes. Your bird. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so we are walking away from Dacha. I have to drive this bitch home. Hi. <laughs> and then I gotta rest up for two hours and then I gotta go to the gym. Because leg gains gotta be made. Am I right? Okay. What are we doing right now? So Aaron and I decided that we're going to try to attempt to take a little detour to find Barack Obama's house. <laughs> you can already tell in this neighborhood it's super bougie. Super like I live bougie. nearby. I live adjacent to this neighborhood. I don't live in it. Following Google Maps. We'll be there in four minutes. Stay tuned. We will see. Quick update. If we turn right, we can go to Mike Pence's. Or if we turn left. We go to Obama's. Goal is to be as discreet as possible in case any security confiscates my camera. Yeah. I'm just going to claim that I'm lost trying to drop this girl off. <laughs> okay, Enjoy the rest that? of your Saturday. Don't get eaten alive. I'm a nap. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Um, I took off my eyelashes. <laughs> they were the really big, heavy ones that you usually wear for like photo shoots, so it feels really great to have that off. Um, so I am now, I came back home like maybe two hours ago, so I'm gonna go and uh, get a workout in. <laughs> took out my little guy, my little dog. Look at the splute. So yes, like I said, I am going to be um, going to the gym, I'm heading lengths today. I haven't had a very good, like, 
I've had okay leg workouts. I got a couple workouts in while I was on my vacation in Cancun, uh, but I haven't had like an actual really good solid leg workout completely in like maybe a week or so. So I'm really feeling on doing some legs. I'm gonna try to see if I can actually film this one so I could put this workout in this video. And then um, I plan to afterwards talk a little bit more about how to stay on track when you're eating out. Because as you guys saw, I went out to brunch with some people and um, you know, it looked like a lot of food, right? And some of you might probably ask me and sometimes I get questions on my DMs when I do go out to brunch and I put that on my story. How do I stay on track when I'm eating, you know, all of that food? Um, so there's a lot more that goes into it and I will be happy to talk more about that, um, especially because, you know, I have a coach and I have goals that I'm trying to hit on a weekly basis. Um, so I'll talk more about that later. Hi there, hello from me and Rocky. We are back now with my talking portion of this video where I'm going to be talking about how I'm able to somewhat, you know, stay on track and go out and enjoy myself with going out to brunch, going out to dinner, um, because this is something that I, I do see a lot of women struggle with when they are trying to go after their, you know, their fitness goals, their weight loss goals. So to start it off, the way that I'm basically able to go about still enjoying my life, still going out to the brunches and the dinners and the happy hours and still achieve my fitness goals is because I have learned how to involve fitness in my life, but not to a point where my entire lifestyle is surrounding fitness. I have come to a point where I've learned how to balance the two and I think that is the biggest thing that people need to understand. So you see a lot of people that I that I talk to, whether they're my clients or whether they're people that I speak to um, in person or on Instagram, one of their biggest concerns that I hear all the time, it's quite common and I completely understand it, is they have this thought of that it's almost impossible for them to go and still do the things that they like to do, um, go to their social gatherings where obviously food is going to be involved and stick to their fitness goals. They think that it's almost impossible to do that. And when you kind of have this societal idea that is put into the minds of majority of people, that if you break away from your diet or if you eat something that you're not supposed to eat, then you know you have done a bad thing. That's obviously a thought or a habit that's really hard to break through. And so that, in my opinion, is the first step to having a long-term healthy lifestyle is by disconnecting that negative association of you're not allowed to go out and enjoy yourself and still live your life while also being able to achieve your fitness goals because you absolutely can do both and i completely understand the concern and the thought that it's impossible to do because i've been there and so the footage that you just saw that I went out to brunch with my friends, how I was able to go and you know eat that food while also still go to the gym later and still stay on track, so to speak. So the first thing um, when I go to these brunches is that I always make sure that I have an awareness of the kinds of foods that are going to be there. So um, I am working with a coach, so I do have certain macros that I need to hit, but you know, that. At the end of the day, on the weekend, there is always some flexibility, especially when I'm being consistent in my workout routine. So I would say find some sort of consistency, whether it is in the nutrition part or if it is in the workout part, because if you're still lacking consistency in your routine, then ultimately you're not going to be successful in whatever goal it is that you're trying to reach. So because I have consistency in my workout routines and I have consistency in my portion control, then I'm able to better manage what I'm going to eat when I show up to these brunches. Um, and I have an awareness beforehand of what kinds of foods that restaurant is going to serve. The second thing is like I just mentioned, portion control. So like you saw all of those dishes that were brought out, well, I will have no more than one plate of food. And when I have that one plate of food, the plate is not like an enormous size plate like this. It's going to be like a small, typical average size plate and I will only fill it once. And I'll have a mixed variety of different plates that are being served amongst the other people that I'm going to be there with. I tried to do my best with portion control so that way I can enjoy a little bit of all the dishes that are there, 
but I'm eating to a point where I end up leaving feeling satisfied and not where I'm feeling stuffed. The third thing also is that when I usually go to these brunches, I'm either going with another person or a group of people. So when I'm going with another person or a group of people, 100% of the time, all the dishes are going to be shared. It's not like one person is ordering the burger and the other person is ordering the mac and cheese or the other person is ordering the pizza. All of the dishes that are being served are going to be shared amongst the group of people or the other individual. And of course, if there are any leftovers, anyone is more than welcome to take home the leftovers. There isn't this pressure that you need to finish what is on your plate or that you need to finish all of the food that is being served at the brunch. It's all about being intuitive with your body and making sure that while you are enjoying the foods that are being present at the brunch, you are eating to a point where you feel satisfied and not that you're leaving that brunch feeling like you can't eat anything for the rest of the day or you're gonna go home and you're gonna fall asleep because you've just fallen into a huge food coma. So then the thing with alcohol, because you can't have brunch without mimosas, right? I will always have a mimosa when I go to brunch. It's gonna happen, I gotta have my mimosa. And that's completely okay, there's nothing wrong with that. And most of the time, I usually just have one mimosa. If I end up having more than one, it's usually because I know that I'm going to be there for a long period of time, or I know that I don't have plans to go to the gym later that day if I'm taking it as a rest day. But on that day that you saw the footage, I only had one mimosa because I knew that I was going to go to the gym later. A huge part of that is me having that accountability, knowing that I am going to go to the gym later. Therefore, I'm going to make sure that my portion control is in control and that I'm only going to indulge in one mimosa and not drink more than I have to so that I can go to the gym later and lift and still stay on track with my fitness goals. And so in terms of how often I do these brunches, it really depends. It's not like I'm going out and spending my money on these brunches every weekend. To be completely honest and upfront, part of what I do here in the DC area is I collaborate with other local bloggers or local influencers. As much as I hate that word, whenever I show up to these brunches, it's usually because it's part of a collaboration or the brunch is actually being paid for by the restaurant in exchange for my influence to my audience of my promotion of that restaurant. I'll work with um, local PR firms to go and promote their clients' locations. So that's just a disclaimer that if any of you follow me on Instagram and you've seen I've been going to a lot of brunches, no, I don't have the money to consistently spend. Those are just little social outings that I'm technically being paid in a sense or sponsored to go there. And while I do love it so, so much, if that wasn't the case, you would not see me going out every weekend to blow money on a brunch because brunches can be pricey okay so that's another thing that could be helpful for you guys who are trying to be uh, smart with your fitness goals make sure that you're spending your money smartly and you're spending your groceries and your food on places like Trader Joe's or Aldi or somewhere that is budget friendly and that you are making your meals at home as often as possible because otherwise if you go out to eat more than once a week or if you're going out to eat to brunch or out to dinner or happy hours every weekend then you know it's going to make sense of why you're not seeing results with your fitness goals and so guys that was all i wanted to talk about for today's video how i stay on track with going out to participate in social events as well as the leg workout that you all just saw so rocky and i are gonna check out of this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe for little Rocky, not for me, <laughs> so that you could see more of him in my future videos. And if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure that you do so. I have a lot of life changes coming up, which I will be sharing in a future video. So see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.